I missed my bus, so I'm making this video instead. Um, these are some things I'm afraid to admit. I still depend on my mom for a lot of things, for, for most things, actually. Um, if it wouldn't be for my mom, I don't think I would be here right now. Sometimes I'm grateful for it, and sometimes I wish I was more self-reliant, but I'm not. Um, it took me a long time to get into the habit of brushing my teeth twice a day. I could always do it once a day, but I could never do it twice a day. I just, I couldn't. I wake up 10 minutes before I need to leave every day. I get up, brush my hair, brush my teeth, get dressed, and I leave. And that's it. Everything I do is last minute, and then whenever something good comes out of it, I feel like I have imposter syndrome. Like I didn't deserve it in the first place. It took me 10 years to get my driver's license. I got it just last year at 25. Because everything I do that is different takes me a long time to do. Always has and always will. I learned how to tie my shoes when I was 12 years old because I have no motor skills. And it's the same thing with driving. <sighs> Sometimes I still think about the people that are no longer in my life. I obsess over them, you know? I think about the reasons why it didn't work out or how it could have been or what could have changed or what could have been better. Sometimes I dream of a life that they were still in it. Even if they want nothing to do with me. Sometimes I spend nine hours a day just sitting and watching Netflix or watching a TV show. I just lay in bed and I watch something to distract myself. Sometimes I take drives at night at two in the morning, listening to music and crying my eyes out just to kind of feel something. I have a hard time with physical affection. I have a hard time giving hugs to people and receiving hugs. When someone touches me, I feel a sense of not anger, but discomfort, even though I have no reason to. And sometimes I feel like it hinders me making friends, me feeling close to people, because I'm, because I'm afraid of physical touch. I still have stuffed animals that I sleep with every day. <laughs> I always need something to cuddle and it can't be a person because for some reason I just, I can't. It always has to be something stuffed that I cuddle with. And people think I'm a child for it, but I don't know if I actually feel a lot of shame for that. I used to anyway. Now I think life is too short. Be a child. And it's not just that. I, I'm a, I act very childlike with people. Saying silly things, doing silly things, saying dumb jokes, acting dumb. 
saying dumb jokes and having somebody just look at me and not laugh. And I think, oh fuck. <laughs> I look so stupid right now. I'm ashamed that my life I'm ashamed that I'm often not grateful for my life and the things that I've done and the things that I've experienced. I feel ashamed that I'm not grateful enough. That's why I try to remind myself, you know? I'm ashamed that I'm not doing enough for my family who has taken care of me who takes care of me, who loves me, no matter what I do, no matter the dumb mistakes I make, I'm not grateful enough for my small family. I'm ashamed that I nitpick people if they're not doing enough, if they're not good enough, or if they make mistakes, or if they're not living their true potential, I nitpick them. I'm really trying not to anymore, but I'm ashamed of that. I'm ashamed of the people that I've hurt in my life on this journey of trying to figure out what I want from it. I'm ashamed for the way that I've acted in certain situations. I'm ashamed for my cowardice. I'm ashamed for my inability to speak up for what I feel. I'm ashamed that I don't do enough. And even though I try my best not to hurt people, I still do. But this life, it's just about learning. Learning how to be yourself looking back on life and seeing all the things that you could do to change. And some of these things I'm ashamed of and some of these things I'm trying to learn how to not be ashamed of. But also, shame brings about change. If you feel shameful for something, then you know what there is to change. And it's all in your power to do it. Anyway, that's it for today. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'm gonna go. I got a party to go to. <laughs> okay, stay safe and have a good one. And thanks for watching. Bye.